Hey everyone, this is John Roca with my top five films of 2019. At number five, I have The Last Black Man in San Francisco. It's one of the best independent films I've seen in over a decade. The film has stayed with me since I saw it this year and uh, as it's an honest, heartbreaking and elegaic movie about the lies we tell ourselves uh, and the lies cities tell about their histories and how that can affect the people within it and the friendship that is the central part of this movie between Jimmy Fails and Jonathan Majors. It's an exquisite, beautiful, and poetic feature film debut from director Joe Talbot. My number four film of the year is The Irishman. This is another masterpiece from Martin Scorsese. Yes, it's three and a half hours. Could you have cut 30 minutes out of this film? Sure, but this is the last time we're probably gonna get Scorsese with De Niro and throw in Pesci and throw in Pacino. And speaking of those actors, I know Pacino and De Niro are the ones who get all the love, but it's Pesci who steals this movie. Once again, the cinematography incredible and the story it tells about mixing family and friends with business and the dangers and consequences of that is fantastic. And you put it against the scope of history, it has a very powerful effect. My number three film of the year is Joker. I'm surprised Joker was going to be my number one until the tail end of the year. But still, to be in the top three, it is one of the most surprisingly brilliant, effective, and thought-provoking films this entire year. And oh, it's a film about a comic book character. Joaquin Phoenix's performance here is legend. And the score, I want to get this right, the score from Hildor Good Nadator is incredible and really is another character in the movie. Todd Phillips has directed a brutal, honest, ugly, gritty film about this villain that will have you thinking about it for long afterwards. My number two film of the year is Parasite. This is one of the most surprising films about class warfare ever made. I mean, it definitely shifts your allegiances as if you're from one character or one set of characters to another set of characters throughout the whole movie and never lets you go. Uh, it, no one is left unscathed here. Everyone is both a hero and a villain and the twist at the end will stay with you long afterwards and it'll be something you'll be discussing for quite some time and maybe even wanting a sequel. It's incredible, Bong Joon-ho is already a fantastic director, but with this movie he goes next level and teases a whole new phase of his career that we're all gonna benefit from. All right, my number one film of the year is 1917. This is one of the most stunning films ever made about the bravery and randomness of war. Roger Deakins' cinematography is gorgeous here, and Sam Mendes' direction is flawless. The relationship between George McKay and Dean Charles Chapman anchor this one, and although it's filmed to look like one shot, that gimmick quickly goes away because you're caught up in the story and the relationship between these two soldiers. It is epic, tragic, beautiful, moving, and oh, a phenomenal technical achievement. It's definitely my number one film of the year. Well, there you go. That's John Roca's top five of 2019 for Collider. Hope you all have enjoyed this year in movies. And if you're on a break right now, and Christmas break, catch up on some of these movies and enjoy yourselves.